Reviews, back again with another catty episode of FLX Beer Reviews. Wow. <laughs> um, that has nothing to do with this, probably. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, He's Dan, I'm Mike. Yeah. Dan, what are we drinking? Uh, this is a beer from the Levante. <laughs> Levante. <laughs> uh, but they're out of Westchester, Pennsylvania, so there's nothing fancy. If I... Le Levante? Le I was watching another video that... Unless... Lee, Lee Van T. Lee Van T. Levante. Uh, Lee Brewing Company. Um, this is the king of birds. Oh. Not cats. Birds. Oh. Caw -caw. Yeah. <laughs> bird law. <laughs> uh, dad, that's what I would have named. Bird, bird law. Bird law. Why isn't anyone... Why isn't anyone in, in Philly made a, a bird law beer? Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, this is, my friends, an it's imperial... It's just the tie. His tie oh on the God. label. And then, like, a... Anyway. Okay. What do we got? Uh, <laughs> this is an imperial stout brewed with coconut, cinnamon, and vanilla. Whoa. 11.5 ABV. Okay. Contains some lactose up in this peasy. Uh... <laughs> The lock code says "caca caca." <laughs> yes, uh, we didn't even said, know hey, that. Hey, it says "caca caca." I'm a bird. It's awesome. All right, All right. Uh, I was brewed at nine fifteen and uh, hashtag eleven twenty. Okay, well, so that's yep. There's still codes. We're figuring it out. Yeah, I'm sure Joel let us know because he's a good Joel. Um, Levante. We've had some beers from them, uh, pale ales, IPAs, um, first stout. So I am. Uh, I want to see how you handle this. Like a champ. Yeah, Mike's not a fan of coconut. Who said that? Never heard such a thing. Uh, that is pretty. That is a nice dark brown, like you burn some Tootsie Rolls with a khaki, foamy, thick head on it. Zooming in. Yeah, what up? I feel like you've used that enough today. You've lost your, your zeal for Zoom. The zest for Zoom is gone. It looks like a good, beautiful stout. It really does. Um... The head just swirls up. This tablecloth is good for swirling. Is it? It really is. It's quiet. It'd be good it's if quiet. I... Uh, we got to do felt. It's not quiet. Oh, it is. Quiet. It's just a nice ASMR rustling. Yeah. You probably can't even hear the rustling oh, on the camera. It doesn't matter. We can hear it. Uh, it looks fantastic. This looks like a hearty... <laughs> We're just run. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get a whiff. Okay. There's a the cinnamon. Dark roast, um, slight cinnamon. And this is going to be interesting. So this is like what you hate, and it's what I hate. You're not a big fan of a lot of coconut. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of a lot of cinnamon and like mm. stouts. Oh, so. okay. Okay, yeah. I, I really get a roasty kind of sweet coffee bean. Chocolat. Chocolat. Chocolat from Levante. There's uh there's the like brown sugar cinnamon. No, so that's very interesting you said that. So I was watching um a beer review from uh, Matt, uh Massive Beers, mm -hmm. and he had uh it was him and James from Rampant Lion. Okay. And they were doing uh it was like a fox farm, I, I think it was a, oh. a German Bach or something. Okay. And he made the comment, a lot of people say chocolate, but I don't get chocolate. I get more of a brown sugar. I think that's mm. maybe what they're thing is chocolate but him personally gets brown sugar in it. interesting and then okay. you said that brown sugar no yeah there, there's a really nice brown sugar in here so yeah i'm kind of there is a a slight marshmallowy sweetness coming through as well there is it's like um, do you get coconut a little bit i don't at all not a lot but a little bit i'm almost getting like a slight star anise kind of thing going on too okay like a little black licorice, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can like see black names. licorice. Yep, yep. Let's dive in. Cheers. Thanks, Joe. Mmm. 
Let's talk about the mouthfeel. Creamy. Body. I think it's a little cold. It's a little cold. It's a little thin. 11.5, I think. It's thin. Yeah, not too thin, but it's thin. Yeah, yeah, for what it is, yeah, I think it's a little thin, but it is creamy. Mm. Um, I'm okay with it being a little thin. I'm okay with oh, it, but geez. some people may not be. I just got, like, brownie batter. Like, you just mixed it up. Mm. Like, there is fresh brownie batter right there. I really like the taste of this right off the bat. Right, right. And there is that slight cinnamon tinge that I'm like, eh. I'm okay with it, but I'm not okay with it, but then I'm okay with it. It's weird. Oh, man, there's a... It's decadent. There's a sweet decadence to it. God damn it. Now you said brown sugar. That's all I get. <laughs> yeah? I, I mean, I'm getting a lot of chocolate now, too. That brownie, ba that brownie baker's dark chocolate. Like, it's leaving a coating. Like a hot chocolate. Like, you drink a dark hot chocolate, and it leaves, like, a coating. Almost like a turtle. Yeah. I can see that. I'm getting hints, like ever so slight coconut. Yeah, I, I mean, it's interesting because, like, depending on how old this is, like, coconut and cinnamon are kind of the first things that kind of start to fall off a little bit. Okay. Um, on the back end, I'm getting, like, this kind of spiciness to it. And, you know, that can be attributed to, like, the spices. Of, okay, like, yeah. You know. I do still get, like, a, a slight coffee roast to it. Mm -hmm. Like almost a chocolate covered, like not espresso being completely, but a with, chocolatey coffee. With each additional sip, a it's, mocha, it's you get, you know, I, I was going to throw that out there. Like with each additional sip, you, you're getting more of a a cafe, mm, uh, mm, yeah. cafe like delight drink, but it, it's getting sweeter and getting more like... I'm getting that rigid, residual sweetness from, like, that lactose. Mm -hmm. And it's getting more and more vanilla. It's almost like, like, if you get a fresh uh, drink from, like, Starbucks or something. Mm -hmm. And by the time you get to the bottom, all that stuff is kind of settled oh, yeah. at the bottom. And it gets a little bit sweeter. You get the bulk of the sweetness on, like, yeah. the, the last few sips. Because all the syrups and everything is kind of settled. Okay. Um, I feel like that's how this, this is drinking. Um. I think this is only going to get better as it warms. I, I really think the the detriment to this beer is the thinner body. Mm. I think it 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 would really benefit from having a slightly more thicker syrupy mm -hmm. yeah. mouthfeel to it. Like, because I almost I don't want to sip it real fast, but it's so thin, you kind of want to. Right. And you almost want to just let that sip that syrupy yeah. thickness just linger for a while. You can't detect the alcohol. Not at all. You're right. That's a good call. Not at all. I like it. I like it. I would like this uh, in a bottle. Like, I would oh, love yeah. to have this uh, holiday yeah. bottle. I think this is delicious. You know, it, it, it's almost got a bit of a, like, a Diet Coke thing going on. Holy shit! I was just going to say that, dude! I was like, man, there's a little bit of a Coca-Cola aspect. Like, for me, this. it's, like, more of a Diet Coke. Like, Diet Coke. Because Diet Coke has, like, this weird... Damn! Not, not weird tinge, but it's got this... Just enough difference from Coke to where yeah. you know, but it, that's where the other flavors are coming to play. That's okay. the Diet Coke. Damn. All right. Yeah. All right. I really like the balance of flavors in this. Yeah. Um, and uh, again, due to the age, I don't know if maybe if it was fresher, if more of that cinnamon and, and coconut would have come out and it would have been more of like a, I don't know if I care for this as much. I, yeah. I think having that just... For me, at least, super subtle coconut in the background, like mm -hmm. way, way back. I'm okay with it. Yeah, right now is really good. I, I like it. Yeah. I like it. It's Aside good. from the body, I'm good with this beer. I like it. Yeah. Um, I'll give it a... I'll give it a 4-2. Okay. If the body was up there, I, th I think this could get up to like a 4-4... Four, four. Point five or 4.45. Okay. Close to I was going to give it a, a 4.1. Because uh, of the body, like we said, and I'm I'm not sure if it was fresher, if the coconut and cinnamon would be there mm. more, and maybe I wouldn't enjoy it as much. But for what it is right now, I, I think it's a 4.1. I mm. love it. I wish it was in a bottle. I'm glad we got a stout. Me too. Me too. Uh, first stout from Levante. Mm. Um, their beers have not... Disappointed. This is yeah, yeah. Just kind of open up the booth. 
It was like a fruit fly. This is damn bananas. That might have been the festival. Oh, we... Might have been the festival beer. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I was whispering. Yeah. My yeah. Bad. Don't whisper. <clears throat> the editor doesn't like... Doesn't. You leave. Oh. You leave. Leave. That's what you need a cat for. That's what you need a cat for. <laughs> it's getting weird. It's getting trippy now. <laughs> too, many, uh, too many inside like, yeah, too many jokes. Yeah, too many inside jokes. Uh, basically, right, we anyway. uh, descriptive me getting a cat. <laughs> It living in the basement, it turning feral. Uh, <laughs> it basically overthrows your household. Yeah. Oh, jeez, there it is. Oh, jeez. All right. Um, a cat, I think an iguana would help with that. Just, we have it on the table, it's just like the tongue's coming up. <laughs> you went from camera to iguana, <laughs> you got some prehistoric <laughs> lizard running around. Now you're like, no, this is where it's at. <laughs> you put a leash on it, you take it for a walk over there. Where's the iguana? It's like <laughs> it's changing its color to, to reflect the Bourbon County stuff. <laughs> it's hiding on your beer shelf. <laughs> you go to grab one, its tongue just comes. We're talking about like it's a frog. <laughs> it like pulls it back. No, iguana's got that tongue, right? Where it's like, like right? It's possible. I don't know enough about iguanas. I got frogs outside. <laughs> you go ask them. Like, I do, like little what's frogs. What's relationship little, to iguanas? The one corner of the house where like the AC unit is yeah. and stuff. Like when I go to weed whack, I see the little frogs jumping because it, it's always oh, a, yeah, a little okay. bit damp okay. over in that area. <laughs> Got like old battle toad <laughs> scenario going on. Oh there. yeah. <sighs> Link tree down in the description below. Click on it. We're gonna we're gonna hop on out of here. Yeah. Um, Thanks, Joe. Uh, this has been great trying these beers. Um, very enjoyable. Dear God, thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.